may have been a foolish move, but I'm gone. Uh, got some more thunderstorms coming in from behind us here. I uh, hope, hope I can shield this wind. Uh, the wind's picked up pretty good, and I don't have my foam anymore. Um, almost to Damangas, almost to the port. Breakwater's come up over the road. I took a pretty good dousing. Uh, my my uh, bag's got a pretty good dousing. My uh, um, backpacks, they got real good and wet. But I'm here. Uh, it looks like more storms are coming in. I went through a couple. I uh, just want to get out here and get on the ferry or get on the row row. But the water's turned up pretty good and we've had some ferries, ferry disasters here. One just a couple of days ago. So uh, I'm a little bit leery of this one. But Big boats, uh, the waves aren't really that bad. I'm a captain, so I got a lot of experience. And, uh, let's just hope this trip's going to be okay, too. All right, well, I'll, I'll take some more when I can here. Man, I'm getting wet. I just left uh, just left the ticket office here at Port of Domongas, and they gave me uh, I paid my port fee, and I'm waiting on another boat now, the one that they told me to get on uh, morning before I'm going to do it. So I gotta wait a little while for another one. Uh, the seas are rough out here. Uh, the boats are taking their time. Uh, it's not a big deal. As you can see, the port's pretty crowded here. These are all waiting on the next boat. Uh, got one motorcycle. There may be a car or two. Look at all these people over here. I think they're waiting on the boat too. So a lot of traffic going from Ilo Ilo to Bacolod. Um, we got rains dancing all around us. Uh, look like it's got some real strong rains coming in from the south. I'm just hoping that they'll stay far enough to the, to the south and to the west of us to leave me alone here. So, I'm here. Um, I will take some more video when I get on the ferry. Now here's the boat coming in. It's actually coming in sideways. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's going to be my boat. He's going full stern ahead. And he came in, came in about, uh, looked like probably a thousand meters uh, to the east of where, where he needed to be. And the winds are so strong it's actually pushing him sideways. He's full stern ahead, I mean full, full ahead right now, but he, he turned in early and the winds are literally pushing him sideways. Now the barge is, is standing out there ready to catch him. He's making forward speed, I can see it in his bow. That's the TriStar, that's going to be my boat. Looks like he's clearing that now. Now you'll see that push boat. He'll come around and grab his port stern, starboard stern, and push the starboard stern around. It'll straighten him up when he gets into the dock here. A lot of these boats will have a, a single screw on them, single engine, single propulsion, and they rely on push boats to turn them around and steer them.
with all of this work uh, for these boats, uh, 400 pesos for, for the dock fee and for the boat fee to get my motorcycle across is a pretty good bargain. Well, that's how it's done, folks. I'm going to get over to my motorcycle. They've just about got it lined up now. And I'll get you some video when I get on board. Okay, she just asked me to move forward. Um, what they've done here in this row row, we're, wait, we're all waiting to board. As you can see, there's a lot of people here. Um, we're still in the process of loading up. Uh, the gates at the nets down, the people are on board. Uh, and here's a big old truck full of motorcycles going on. We gotta let the big trucks on before they let us small motorcycle, uh, small small craft on. Small motorcycles. There's a whole lot of Hondas there. In Coast Guard. Unlike America, these guys have got sidearms. You don't typically see the Coast Guard walking around with that. Changed. But, uh, these guys have certainly got one. 